Hi, we're here today at the Science Museum for a new exhibition entitled Leonardo da Vinci, The Mechanics of Genius, looking at the life of this great artist and inventor and all of the drawings he made of futuristic inventions and how they might have worked. Part of what this exhibition is doing is showing that Leonardo was an engineer of his day. And there were other, he had rivals. And Leonardo's originality comes from the imaginative dimension, that's true, and also the liveliness of his drawings. So when we look at Leonardo's drawings, because he's a great draftsman, and in our terms a great artist, he draws a portrait, if you like, of a machine that makes you look as though it's it's doable, it convinces you. So people have been interested in trying out Leonardo's machines, partly I think because the drawings are more convincing than, than the more mundane engineering drawings that others are producing. He's not a standout genius, other people are, 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 are making machines comparable to his. On the other hand, there are areas where he is uh, special and where he doesn't, he is interested in things that other people aren't interested in, and that's flight. And he did, he, he did thousands and thousands of drawings related to flight, whether it be the structure of a bird's wing, whether it be a mechanism or a flying engine. So behind us we've got um, a flying machine with beating wings, which seems to have some sort of clock mechanism to beat the wings. We've got um, almost like a flying boat. Um, and at the back we've got a, a model for a glider, and you can half see a sort of a, a part of a torso in there. And that, in fact, has been um, made in full size and it has flown. Perhaps it was intended that um, people could descend into a space, um, whether they were flying creatures or angels or whatever, it's hard to know because we don't know. All we have here is a tiny little sketch of exactly what you see here. And it is indeed a parachute. It's exactly, that's exactly what it is. It's, it's so that you can safely uh, descend of course not from an aeroplane because you don't have an aeroplane or, or you don't, certainly don't have a helicopter or, uh, or anything like that. So why would you want a parachute in Leonardo's time? Well, you see Leonardo's all involved in designing useful things but also in designing spectacle. While a lot of Leonardo's drawings and designs seem quite fantastical, it's really interesting to note that quite a few of them have been proven in the last few decades to scientifically actually work, which proves that Leonardo truly was ahead of his time.